Hey everyone, it's the Yellow Chili, and we're back with a brand new Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4. We are playing as Brandenburg here, and in case you followed my last Let's Play, I had to completely scrap it because of some weird error. Um, I think you guys noticed in episode 7 that there was a break, and apparently that whole thing um, sort of uh, broke my save game. Uh, so I could not open the last save game and the one I have from before that, which was like a backup that I copied because it was an Iron Man game. Um, that was from, I think, 20 years in the past and it completely doesn't make any sense to continue the game from that point on. So um, we're going to start a new Let's Play with Brandenburg and uh, we're going to hope that things will be a lot better this time because last time... We didn't even get to the fate of Neumark, like we uh, were unable to buy this and actually the Polish captured it, which uh, left us without our mission tree that we can see here. Um, after you get Neumark, you get a permanent claim on all of this area, which basically helps you a lot in conquering these provinces. And since we didn't get that, we were sort of unable to, to actually expand into here. Also... Um, I think Poland allied with Austria, which is something I have never seen before. Um, Austria was also our ally, which wasn't too bad. But uh, let's just hope this doesn't happen again, because a PLC allied with Austria, potentially with a personal union with Hungary, is something you do not want as Brandenburg, because it limits your, your expansion a lot. Uh, I was actually desperate in the last game, uh, trying to... Uh, uh, to take over these provinces and then um, I was go completely ready to colonize the Americas because we had no way of expanding anywhere near here because of how alliances were set up. So um, let's hope this time it'll be a lot better. Um, we're at Brandenburg again. We have our wonderful Frederick uh, II of Hohenzollern who is a 332, gives us yearly corruption uh, minus 0 0.05 which isn't too bad. Um... Also, we have this heir, Albrecht Achilles von Hohenzollern, and he happens to be the leader of Ansbach, which means if our current ruler dies, we will form a personal union with them, which isn't um, the worst thing that can happen. We also missed that in the last game. Let's hope it happens this time. Um, so, yeah, uh, I don't think there's a lot more that I should mention right now. Um... We do have to set a couple rivals. Teutonic Order will definitely be one of them. Um, who else are we going to set? I think for the rest... We might want to start forming alliances first and then set our rivals. Because sometimes you can't form a certain alliance because uh, you haven't... Or you, you've rivaled a country that they're allied with. We're going to ally with Austria right away. And, um, yeah, let's actually start the game here. We have low crown land. We might want to take care of that. How low is it? We Yeah, we definitely need to seize land from them. That is totally fine. Do we have a, a leader? We do not. Let's hire one. Oh, great! This guy is incredible. Getting a lot of uh, alliance offers. The Hohenzollern rule of Brandenburg. When the Hohenzollerns acquired the March of Brandenburg in 1411, the state had a long history of being very loosely governed under Wittelsbach and Luxembourg overlords. Local nobility, clergy, and the city councils have grown used to being left to their own devices. Robber barons and lawlessness are the prevalent in many parts of the realm. Uh, our dynasty has had some success in curtailing the power of the nobility and the burghers, often turning their strongholds into rubble in the process. We are, however, still far from the undisputed, undisputed masters of these lands. Recently, recently, even the clergy, common in all parts of our administration, seem to be working against us. If we are to avoid becoming just another temporary dynasty in this region, we must strongly assert our authority and build a government that government apparatus that we can trust. Okay, we must build our own government institutions. We get new chancellery until the death of Frederick II, giving the following effects. National unrest plus one, autonomy change minus 0 0.05, and the clergy estate loses influence. Or we gain corruption, the clergy gains influence, and they gain 1% of land. We don't want them to gain any land, we just seize that. 
Okay, national unrest isn't too bad at the moment because I don't think we have any unrest. Okay, we're gonna make these guys drill right away because we're gonna need it. Um, I am kind of tempted to actually try to ally Hungary as well. Because that is usually a very decent... Um, being allied to Austria and Hungary is, is a very decent measure to not be attacked by Poland. We could also try allying Bohemia, which is now... No, it's actually not going to be hard because Bohemia and Austria aren't uh, rivals. Hmm... Let's improve relations, just in case. They've rivaled Poland. We're gonna have to rival Poland at some point. We can't do that right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wait. Like, we, we're not gonna be able to, um, to get too much power projection anyway, so it doesn't matter if we have rivals or not. And we do have some unrest now. Uh, noble rebels, interesting. Yeah, that'll that'll be fine. I hope. We could also hire an advisor if we wanted to, but I don't think we should because we should definitely um, keep an eye on our on our treasury here because if the event fate of Neumark happens, we want to be ready. The Kingdom of Italy and the Empire. For years now, imperial authority over the Kingdom of Italy has been waning. Successive emperors have failed to impose their will on the Italian states as they have begun to act with total disregard for imperial laws and customs. Unless the wayward nations of northern Italy are firmly reined in soon, Italy may slip out of imperial control forever. And they tell us about the event of successor of Radislav III, where among the possible options they went with, let us appoint a local noble instead. Their choice of action. Interesting. So that means Poland is not allied with Lithuania. That could prove very handy. Uh, we can't rival Poland, can we? No, we cannot. Okay. And we can't rival anybody you guys have rivaled, so... Yeah, totally out of the question. So we're gonna have to wait here. Um, I think Hungary is a little more picky than Bohemia. Yeah, we're, we're very close to allying Bohemia. The problem with that is I usually also ally Hungary because I want them to be sort of a wall against the Ottomans and in a lot of games where I haven't um, allied Hungary uh, I it seemed like they were taken apart bit by bit by the Ottomans and that's something like you don't want Ottomans near Prague or Vienna I mean it's what ha what happened in, in reality I'm aware of that but um, sometimes history should not repeat anyways we're still going to try allying Bohemia because we do not need um, conquering any of their lands is out of the question at the moment. Applying power of the nobility. As both influential landowners and the traditional warrior class in our state, the nobility have not fared well lately. Through a combination of excessive infighting and poorly co coordinated power plays, the nobility have lost influence in Berlin, Köln, and many have retired to their properties in the countryside. Not too bad. Who are you guys allied to? Nobody, basically. Hungary, who do you have as an ally? Only Austria, okay. Levine is an accepted culture in Austria, I doubt that. Okay, come on, Teutonic Order, sell us this crap. Oh, and by the by, we can totally disable this fort. We don't need it at the moment. Okay, let's... Um 
Oh, come on, guys. Here's what the good Brandenburgian emperor does. He drinks a lot of black tea. You have a von Württemberg ruler? Great. What now? Imperial ambition. At least two um, electors backing us for the imperial throne. That's probably us and Bohemia. That's us and Bohemia. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Um, I, I think we're still going to want to wait with all this. Yeah, I don't think messing with Lithuania is a good idea at the moment. We definitely need this to happen. I'm not sure what the what the mean time to happen for the event of Neumark is, but it shouldn't take too long. Who's that, by the way? The teen. Okay. Still not used to, to there being Satine and Walgast. It's like all of this is like Pomerania to me. Okay, you guys are now allied with the Teutonic Order. That is not very convenient. Oh, nice! Our general improved after only like two years of, of drilling. Well, only two years, but... You know, it usually doesn't happen this quickly. We had we now have four two zero two general, which is incredible. Like we can we can steamroll everybody with that guy. Smugglers are running rampant. We can either stop them for twenty one ducats, or we can just be like, no, screw this. <sighs> How long is that? Ten years. Ten years. 10% less tax, that would be 30 per month, 0.3 per month, 0.32 probably, for 10 years, that's a lot more, we're gonna stop them. Interesting though, that those smugglers apparently had ships. Alright, um... Who are you guys allied with? Verdun and East Frisia. The, th the problem is... You could probably ally these guys and use them as like a shield or something if we were to attack Mecklenburg. Which I think is something we want to do. Let's uh, build a spy network first. And then we can probably rival them. Yeah, because Statine is out of the question. This, is, this would be an army that we can't take. We could potentially try um, Walgust. Especially since they're allied with Brunswick. And Brunswick doesn't really have a lot. So let's build a spy network here too. Why do we have three diplomats at the start of the game? I don't get that. Was there some event I, I clicked away or something? Yeah, Bohemia. That would be incredibly good if we got a personal union over Bohemia. Dax Lauenberg. No, I didn't want to reject that. I wanted to close the window. You guys are allied with... with um, Burgundy? Okay. Maybe we'll just ally you. Not the worst idea. Okay, since you guys are drilling...
Okay, Bohemia now has a new ruler from the Potterbrad family, as per usual. We do not need to improve relations with Hungary anymore because we're not going to be able to ally them because we're now allied with Bohemia. Can we please get this event, the fate of Neumark? Yeah, I, I, I still think we should ally saxe Lohenberg because they're a lot smaller and we can potentially vassalize them later on. Potentially. Now let's do that. They're not going to block any other alliances for us because they are so small that nobody of importance is going to be allied to them. <laughs> hmm, what do? Are we? Yeah, we're building a spy network here too. That's good. But I think... Oh, you guys haven't even... No, you haven't rivaled Mecklenburg. Okay, that sucks. <clears throat> Maybe we should ally Walgust and ditch them. Neutral attitude. Okay, let's improve relations while simultaneously fabricating claims on their territory. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, we can now fabricate a claim on these. Cannot. <clears throat> oh, inside Holy Roman Empire is plus 50%. What? Nassau was annexed by Mainz. Do we have a strong emperor? Do we have an emperor at all? Who are you guys allied to? Yeah, but we can't declare on you because you're allied with Burgundy. That's gonna be a little bit too much. Now we can't declare on the Teutonic Order either. You know... Now that you have rebels, you're making this offer to us. Okay, first of all, we're going to do this because we won the yearly prestige. We're going to wait a little bit here until our army is uh, back up at full strength. 100, okay. Can we still... 
get a loan from our burgers. Take five year loans at 1% interest. The enterprise. Does it do anything? No. Oh, here, here we go. Um, gain 68 from cloth or silk, but no income from cloth or silk. What does that mean? We not have any... Well, we have a lot of cloth. I kind of want to avoid taking a loan, so... This gives them loyalty, but doesn't change anything otherwise, so... Oh yeah, it gave us the money, great. So we're gonna make him a generous offer next month. Excellent! No way! What the hell? Okay, I'm... I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back, and I actually had to edit the save game uh, in order to get this fixed, because apparently this is a bug that has been reported to the Paradox forums that if um, this province is occupied by rebels, you will only get this one if you accept that offer, which is something that shouldn't actually happen. Just because there's rebels here, you shouldn't be able to just buy one of these provinces, because it's not the way this is intended. So, um, like I said, I edited this, and um, let's see what these rebels are going to do. They're just going to stay here, so we're going to attack them. Wow, they're strong. Oh, not too bad. I like it. Okay, so this guy now has a, a new trait. He is, is a glory seeker, which means he gives us more prestige from land battles and more army tradition too. Great, now our agent was discovered slightly before hitting the 26%. I just love that. And now it's going to take forever until we can fabricate a claim. Yeah, well, our navy strength is definitely a reason to not ally with us. Okay, um, apparently Great Britain said, screw you, France, and did not give them main just like that. So, um, there is now a war between France and Great Britain. We have new trade research is heretical. We have had complaints from several dignitaries in our country that the new practices of our merchants are clearly heretical and that we should put a stop to them. Well, what are you talking about? About the smugglers in our country? We don't have any. We just stop them. But maybe there's other guys who do stuff we don't like. So, I'm going to take the prestige hit. Period. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to edit that save again because it should be cored after you buy it. Okay. <laughs> Austria apparently tried to enforce peace here. Oh, okay. Munich is at war with Augsburg. 
And Austria said, Munich, make peace or we will attack. And apparently Munich said no. And I have a feeling Munich's not going to stand a chance against Austria. <laughs> Mission fulfilled. Reclaim Neumark. Okay, great. So we do not need claims on this area anymore. So we can withdraw this spy. The problem is that we still can't attack anybody because apparently all large nations around us like to ally the two province miners near us. Look at Baden for for change. No major power is allied with this 2 p.m. 2 province minor. And uh, actually Austria is allied with Tria, but that's probably because they're an elector. Cologne. Cologne doesn't have any major allies. It's just the two province miners that are around us that have Lithuania, for instance. So we are in a bad position again. We're going to have to find a way out of that. Profiteering in Prenzlau. The citizens of Prenzlau have grown tired of the local influence of greedy Mulhausian merchants that they claim are using unfair advantages to outcompete local businesses. They demand that we step in to limit the influence of foreign traders on the area and reaffirm the privileges of our own merchants and artisans. If we do not act, they might take matters in their own hand hands. We must protect our trade or competition is good for everyone. I, I would say we must protect our trade. Because uh, Mulhouse's opinion on us is quite irrelevant at the time. Okay, just hypothetically, who joins in if we attack Stettin? Oh, wow. Let's not do that. How about Walgast? Brunswick and Saxe-Lauenburg. Who are their rivals? Stettin, Mecklenburg, and Lübeck. They are rivals with Mecklenburg. Oh, because our spy was caught. How about we... we? Yeah, I'd say let's get them as an ally. And then let's see if they will accept an alliance. Anytime soon. Yeah, they will. I thought so. Okay, so we're going to rival Walgast and then attack them immediately. Because they should join. That's beautiful. And we're going to wait here until our army is, is at full strength and then we're going to rival them and declare war. Okay, we're going to have to declare war now. But uh, we are near the 30-minute mark. I think we're going to save that for the next episode. Um, Wolga's here just allied, not allied, but married Poland. So we have to act right now, and we will. And we're going to attack them right away so they don't ally Poland, and we're going to try to take provinces away from them. Um, maybe even vassalize them if we can, but we'll see about that. That may be too much and, and cause our aggressive expansion to go up way too high. Anyways, guys, uh, if you uh, enjoyed this video, please uh, like it, share it, uh, leave a comment or message, and uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.